Hello church, hope you're having a great start to your week. Pastor Zach here, and I just wanted to share with you a Devo today out of the book of Jonah. Lots of times we look at the book of Jonah, we talk about the book of Jonah, and it's all about making sure that we're going to where God's calling us and, and not running from the place that he's calling us. But today I want to look a little bit deeper at this. I want to look at chapter two and look at what happens if we have already run. What happens if we are in the belly? What happens if we're in that place of punishment? And I want to challenge you today that we should not mistake God's provision for punishment. Lots of times in this book of in this book of Jonah, we see that there's this punishment of the of the fish that swallowed him. But what I see at the end of it is that this is God's provision bringing him to what's next. So I want to look at what do we do if we are in the belly? What do we do if we're in this place? And in Jonah 2, we see how Jonah responds when he is in this place. And it's with this thing called prayer. And we'll look at three different things that we see in, in the second chapter of Jonah on prayer. The first is prayer of precision. Isn't it crazy how we can be so precise with our worries, but so general with our prayers? We can be so precise with the things that we're worried about, with the things that we're anxious about. But when it comes to prayer, it's, oh God, I pray a prayer of blessing. I pray you'd help me with my problems. Amen. But in Jonah chapter 2, verse 5, here's what he says. The engulfing waters threatened me. The deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. God, when he when he's talking to you in prayer, he wants you to be real with him. He wants you to be honest. He wants you to tell, tell him where you are at right now in life. So let's be real. Let's be specific with our prayers. Let's pray exactly what we're wanting to see God do. Let's pray exactly where we feel that we are at. God wants you to be real. He wants to, you to be specific. He wants to hear your heart. The second thing we see is a prayer of passion. In Jonah chapter 2, verses 1 through 2, it says this, From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. He said, In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. Why is it that we can be so passionate about so many other things? We can get so fired up about sports. Like I, I've been to games before where something big happens, and there's grown men who are like hugging each other and crying. They don't even know that person, but they're so passionate. They're so fired up. How can we get so passionate about singing that song in, that, in the car or sharing our thoughts about what's going on in the world right now? But when it comes to prayer, it's so formal. It's so just, all right, let me pray and we do our thing and then amen and we're done. It's so formal. God wants to know your passion. He wants to see your heart. And, and Jonah here, he's, he's giving his passion to God. He, he's being very uh, over the top. He, he's telling God exactly where he's at. He's being real with him. What I want you to see is that prayer, it should be this real thing. It shouldn't be something that we're trying to be formal or trying to, trying to come and be somebody that we're not. This should be a time that we're real with God and we're showing real emotion and real feeling. The third and final thing I want you to see here in Jonah 2 is the posture of prayer. Jonah 2 verse 9 says, But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will make good. I will say salvation comes from the Lord. Notice this. In this prayer where he is saying that, that he is giving shouts of grateful praise, he is still in the fish. This is not Jonah making a prayer for deliverance, but a prayer from deliverance. His posture of prayer in this moment is a posture of gratitude. And what you'll see is that when we're grateful, we become faithful. When we're grateful, we are faithful. Jonah was still in the belly of the fish, but he was thanking God for what was to come in the future. This is real faith. I'm not where I want to be. I'm maybe not where I think I should be, but I'm going to be grateful because I know that God has more for me. Pray a prayer from deliverance, not just for deliverance. I hope that this encourages you today, church. I hope that this can move you along closer to God, that this changes the way that we pray. This, pray. this changes the way that we communicate with God and that we draw closer to him. Have a great day.